guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Hope you're all okay. Um, so, firstly, this week, I just want to show you some um, prints that I've had done uh, by a girl that I went to school with. They're absolutely amazing. Um, so, her name on Instagram is Holly Walker Art. Um, and the £10 each, which is absolutely nothing, you can request any song that you want. Um, so make sure Holly Walker out, you go follow her on Instagram. Um, and if you want any, just, just message her. She's absolutely brilliant. Um, so that's that out of the way. Let's get on with this week's video, um, which is my top 10 motivational tips. Now I've had a lot of people messaging me like, how do you just get up and do it every day? How do you go for a run? How do you run that far? And this is my top 10 tips. Um, on how to get it done so let's get on with the video now before we start the video this week i'm really intrigued and i want to ask you guys at home a question um so when you're running do you work in kilometers or do you work in miles now personally i work in kilometers i have a lot of friends that work in miles um so i'll put two comments down in the comment section one that says kilometers one that says miles just like the one that you work in and we'll, we'll assess which is the most popular. I think Miles might just uh, just just win it by, by a smidge, but I can't wait to see the results. So I'm gonna keep all these tips as short and sweet as possible to make, to make sure the video doesn't drag on too long. Um, so my motivational tip number one is to run with other people. Um, so I have a couple of friends, especially Dave and Tom, they like to get out early in the morning um half five six o'clock so if if they message me saying do you fancy a couple of miles in the morning and i'm like yep that's absolutely fine it forces you to get out get out of bed in the morning um and get it done especially just catching up with them seeing how they're doing uh how their training's going it's a great way to um get yourself motivated so that's my tip number one my tip number two is similar to tip number one. It's to join a running club. Um, so this can really help you. I've, I've recently joined Tagcaster Harriers. Um, and within a month of being with them, it's, it's brilliant. Meet new people. Um, similar to tip number one, really. Run with other people. Um, but it's great just to be part of a community where you're all doing the same thing. Um, so if you're not part of a club, I would really highly recommend to join one. So my tip number three is to set yourself a goal. So whether this is a short time goal, like get yourself a new 10K PB, or whether this is a long time goal, like run 2000 miles in the year, um, set yourself a goal. It really pushes you on, motivates you, makes you want to get out and run. My tip number four is to mix up your runs and to put little sessions in. Don't do the same run every day. Um, do a hill session, do a little interval session, go for a long run, do a short run, um, mix it up. Don't be doing the same repetitive um, session every day. Also, mix up your routes. Don't just do the same route every day. Do the opposite. You might see new things. Do a completely different route somewhere you've never been before. It really uh, motivates you to get out. My tip number five is to listen to a podcast or music while you're running. Uh, podcasts are extremely helpful. I've only recently got into the podcast um, scene in the past couple of months. I know um, Dan Lawson and James Elson have a great uh, podcast, the British Ultra podcast, which I love listening to. It really spurred me on. Um, there's also Daz and Bones, uh, Legends of Spartathlon uh, podcast, which, re which really just makes you feel like you're running with someone else. So if you're running alone, listen to a podcast. Also music, um, try and get the the beats per minute to 180 so you, you, foot, you cadence can uh, match your beats per minute of your music. That really spurs you on. Uh, so yeah, take your headphones out here and listen to some music. My tip number six is to download Strava. Uh, so for people that haven't got Strava, I would highly recommend downloading it. It's great for analytics, looking at, uh, what everybody else is doing, especially looking at what you're doing, different uh, intervals, um, you can track your cadence. Um, it's brilliant. So if I see one of my friends has been out for a run um, and it 
might be a bit longer, faster than what I've done. That really motivates me to get out and, and, and match it or even better it. So yeah, that's my tip number six. So my tip number seven is to get out and do your run on a morning, um, if it's feasible, get it out and done before work. Um, I especially love that. I love getting up at, I start work at eight o'clock. Uh, so I love, well, I don't love it, but getting out at six o'clock, and I was running home, shower, just for work. It really lightens me up for the day, gets me ready. It puts me in a good mood. Um, but if I've got out and done it, rather than finishing work at five, coming home, really knackered, tired, I don't want to get out after work. So yeah, do your work, do your uh, run in the morning, get it out of the way, um, and get on the rest of the day. And my tip number eight. Uh, refers to tip number seven, kind of, but it's be prepared, get your kit, kit ready before you go to sleep, get it laid out on the floor, your train is there, um, and then when you wake up, it's there. You've got no other option. Put your kit on and just go. Just go and do it. Um, get it out of the way. My tip number nine is think of the health benefits. Um, don't be lazy, sat on sofa watching Netflix. Just even if the pace isn't... Um, too fast even if you don't go 20k just get out and do it um yeah think of if you need to lose a bit of weight if you want to have a better looking body for the summer and we're in january now so that really spurs me on um i know i've never had abs or anything um but i think this summer might be the summer um that i might make some improvements so yeah think of the health benefits and my tip number 10, which is the last tip, is don't sit down. So this is if you're going for a run after work. Um, get home from work, don't sit down. As soon as you sit on that sofa, as soon as you sit down in bed, put TV on, you are not going to want to go for a run. So get home from work, take your work clothes off, get your running clothes on, get out that door and just do it. Um, because if you don't, you need to get into that habit of just going and doing it. Um, I know it, as soon as I sit down there, Chase is on at five o'clock, I'm not going for a run. So if I get out and do it, I can watch TV later, I can watch YouTube videos later, just get out and do it straight away. So they are my top 10 motivational tips. I hope they helped everybody, everybody that's been watching. I know I've had lots of messages to do um, motivational videos what what inspires me to run so I, I hope that's helped you soon so to everybody that's subscribed already thank you if you haven't subscribed do it now really appreciate it it's just this channel's really taking off um and it's really pushing me on and wanting to do more videos um so make sure you keep posted because there's some big changes coming soon no hints there um, so I'll see you next time. Um, make sure you comment for your kilometre or mile down below. Can't wait to see the results. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.